Hello everybody, so welcome to the Temple OS 5th tutorial. I'm going to talk about data types in Temple OS. And there are really three data types that are all encompassing for our primitives. So we have I's, U's, and F's. So U stands for unsigned, I stands for signed or integer, and F is our float or double. And we have these three and they can be divided into subtypes. So we have I8s, I16, I32s, I64s, U8s, uh, I miswrite it here, but it's U16s, U32, and U64. And we also have F64. And all these do is refer to the size of the primitive in memory. So we can think of it like ints and longs, cars and shorts, doubles and floats. And when I say that it represents the size in memory, we can think of a binary block like this. Here's an unsigned 8 with uh, 8 bits. And so the unsigned can contain values from 0 to 255. So in binary, you, you have that many values. And an assigned integer has, I write, again, this is another typo, but it actually goes to 127, I believe, negative and positive. That first bit is just used to indicate whether or not it's positive or negative. We can use these data types to build our own structures like vectors. Vectors are really important in neural networks, but what exactly are they? If we draw a little car, here's my little car, we can see that it's traveling in a direction. So this car, it has a magnitude or a length or a speed that it's moving as well as a direction. And that's all a vector is. We can represent vectors by a character with a line over it. Sometimes it has a little arrow just to show that it's a vector. If I draw a little graph here, we can put a point, and if we draw an arrow to that point, we can see, okay, this point has not just a position, but it's also got a direction, and that is our A vector. We can perform different mathematical operations on vectors, like addition, scaling, dot product, and magnitude. I'm gonna cover all four of those today, and we're going to be implementing them into Temple OS. So to add two vectors, if we think of our Euclidean space here, that point has two values, right? So maybe it's at position x1 and y2. To add two vectors, let's say we want the sum c, we add a vector and b vector. c is equal to every value in a plus every value in b, where it goes from the beginning to the end. So maybe it's better if I show an example. So here we have an A vector at position one, two, and we have a B vector position three, four. All we do is add them up. So one plus three is four and two plus four is six. So our sum of the two vectors is four, six, and we get a new vector. That's how you add two vectors together. Magnitude is a little different. So our magnitude is also sometimes called the length. It represents the distance from the Euclidean center or origin, right? So zero, zero in this case, or if you're in a three-dimensional space, it'd be zero, zero, zero. Let's set up our A vector, one, two. And if we want to find the magnitude of this vector, we square every value, and then we take the square root of the sum. So in this case, our magnitude is equal to 2.23, and I'm just using two uh, digits here. But it, depending on the length of your vector, you would, you would keep doing that up until n, where n is the size. Modern neural networks, especially convolutional neural networks and backpropagation, use something called a sliding dot product, but a regular dot product is used to calculate an angle between two vectors or to project one vector onto another. So let me show an example of this. The dot product of A and B, uh, C in this case, would be equal to AI times BI plus AI plus one times BI plus one all the way until AN times BN. 
So if we have A equal to 1, 2, and B equal to 3, 4, it would be 1 times 3 plus 2 times 4. 3 plus 8 is equal to 11, and I actually mislabel it here. It's not a vector as the result. It is just a, a value, like a double value. So let me plot it on the graph here so you can see it more clearly. If I draw the first vector and the second vector, there's A and there's B, and I draw a little angle, you can see the angle is equal to 11 degrees. And that's how you find the dot product. Scaling is a little bit easier compared to dot product and magnitude. You simply have to multiply by a scalar or constant value. This will always result in a vector with the same angle as respect to the origin as the original vector. So if we have the vector a equal to 1, 2, and our scalar is 2, then the result is 2, 4. We just do 1 times 2 and 2 times 2 to get 2 and 4. And we can see if we plot it on the graph, it is the same angle, just scaled up by two. So that is everything that we're going to need to cover. We're going to be able to hop into Temple OS now and just implement this in Holy C. So let's go and do that. The first thing I'm going to do is set up a declaration for our vector. I'm using an I32 for the size, but if you want to use something smaller, you can. I'm going to use a pointer to the data, which is a uh, double. And I'm going to create a new vector. This is how we initialize a vector. We pass in the size of a vector and we memory allocate the size for the vector. If you want to look up what these functions do, you can just type in MAN and look up look up what it does but I just continuously allocate the data we don't have to memory allocate for size and we also set up a destroy vector function here this is just going to free our memory here's my main where I'm just going to call these functions so we can test them out so I'll just create two test vectors and I will set their values Now we need to set up our setters and our getters. So a uh, setter takes the value and the position at the vector. So you can see v at data position i equals d. And get vector just returns the value at that position. Print vector, we're going to just, cool thing about Temple OS, you don't always need to use this print function, but here you do. Uh, when we were passing in a data point, percent dot 2f just says we want two decimals. If you want to do this automatically, you can press Control L and you can set up a format string like that. It's just a cool shortcut that Temple OS has. And here's the function for adding vectors. I didn't actually get this on tape, but if you want to just read that real quick, it's just the same math. Also, um, you can't add vectors of two different sizes, so I just put in a uh, try catch there or uh, an f statement to check. So. Here we go, I'm just gonna add our add vectors to the main function and print the results. I had a little error right here, I just forgot a parenthesis. So I just added that. And here we go, yeah, the get vector returns at the, the data type of, of the size. So there you go. So here we can see the result of the addition. And I just put a, uh, a bracket on the end there. And you could put a new line as well. I'm going to add a new line later. Here we're going to implement the dot product. So dot products takes two vectors and we're going to uh, set up our variables. If the size are not equal, we can't do a dot product. Same thing with addition. So you can throw an error with a try catch or I'm just gonna return zero. But if the sizes are equal, then we just iterate through and we add together the, the multiplied values together and we return the new vector. I'm sorry, the new values, the angle. So we can print that angle with uh, percent dot five. I'm using five decimal points here just cause I want it to be a little more accurate. Adding that new line I mentioned earlier. And there's that printed out. 
So the only thing we need now is uh, scaling and magnitude. So let's do scaling first because that's a little easier. So scale vector takes our vector and the scalar and we're just going to, it's pretty simple, we're just going to loop through our vector and multiply each value by our scalar and set it to our new vector and return it. So scaled is our new vector and we're going to return that. And for magnitude, here we are, we're taking in a vector and we're going to declare our variables. We're going to iterate through the vector and add together the, the squared value of each data point and then take the square root. And remember, the magnitude is the length or the distance from the origin. Last thing we're going to do is just add those function calls to our main method. Set the vector scaled to our scaled value. I'm going to pass in 2 and declare a magnitude for our magnitude function. You can see here I use five decimal points just because I wanted something a little clearer. And remember to destroy those vectors we made so that you free the memory. And there it is. The code is available on my website. Please like and subscribe as it really helps me out. And good luck. Thank you.